Trading is a business and if you want to succeed with trading, you need to treat it like a business. When you look at businesses like Amazon, Meta, Facebook, Tesla, any of these large companies, they weren't always large. They didn't have the funding. They didn't have the market cap that they have right now. They had to start somewhere. They had to start small. And when you're dealing with a smaller company, a smaller business, when you're trying to grow it to something large or grow it to something that's actually worth anything, there's going to be an element of risk. And usually there's a lot more risks when companies are smaller as opposed to when they are bigger and have a moat and are more established. Trading is similar. So real quick, let's hop in, take a look at TradingView and talk about risk versus reward. All right, so here we are. We are taking a look. This is the TradingView mobile app. Uh, it's the same one that I'm normally on on the computer, but I want you to know that you can do the same thing on your phone as well. You don't need a computer or a laptop or anything like that to trade or chart. Now, taking a look at this, I, I want to show you how you can determine risk and reward using the short tool and the long tool. So the long tool is the same thing as the short tool. It's just going to the upside. So I'm going to click on the long tool, which is down here, which is the one right to the left of this blue dot. And now to pick a position, I am going to, let's say, uh, pick right here. Now for this example, this isn't a trade I would exactly trade. I'm just making an example here. Let's actually make it something a little more realistic. I might actually trade. So here, actually, we will come in and we'll use the short position tool. So looking at the short position tool, which is this one up here instead of this one down here, because it's going to the downside. Uh, we have a previous high over here. Uh, we have a supply zone over here. So looking at this previous high, so let's say we see resistance over here. All right, so just, just to make it clear where I'm drawing this from, I see a good amount of resistance on this line, so we'll use that as resistance. So let's say right here, wherever this Wherever this middle line is, that is going to be where we enter the trade. So let's say we entered on resistance and our stop loss is going to be a little past the previous key level. So the previous key level I see is right here at 275. Uh, when you're setting your stop loss, you want it to be, you want to make sure it's past that. Because as you can see, like looking right here, we came to that previous high and we actually went past it. So the previous key level, for example, is right here at about 275. Um, this actually ran up to about 277. So knowing how the stock specifically moves helps. But uh, let's say I wanted to actually move that to about 278.50. I'm not gonna lie, everything is easier in hindsight. This is definitely something you would have wanted to watch. But there are a lot of people who probably got stopped out of this trade because their trade, because their stop wasn't wide enough. But going on, looking at this trade, had I taken this trade with this entry, looking at this supply zone, my target would have been down here, which sets the risk to reward. So Looking at this trade, looking at the risk to reward, you can see that it shows the risk to reward ratio is three, which means you know, this is a three to one risk to reward ratio. And the way that works is uh, if we look at this trade, also just want to point out that if we took our entry on this trade right here, we would have come, gone through all this, had this break down here, taken profits down here, we would have come back down and we actually came as low as 249. And as long as you had set a trailing stop or had your take profit set, hey, money, money to be had right there. But going on, taking a look at the whole risk to reward ratio, uh, just to give you a visual, trading with a small account, a three to one risk to reward ratio is going to be pretty nice. Usually if, if it's a day trade, I want it to be at least two to one, but if I'm swinging or anything or looking at a higher time frame, I want the risk to reward ratio to be at least three. Honestly, the higher, the better, but getting back to it, 
If we take a look right here from this line, what that risk to reward ratio means is we can lose this trade or get this trade wrong. Look, okay, the first time, say we lose this trade, we lose 587. And say we do the same thing again. Here, let's grab another one. Lose this trade. And now let's let's say that's 11, 11.40, 11.50, somewhere, let's, let's say almost $12. And then we take the trade one more time. We'll round up to about $18 um, before we get exact. And then we come and we get this trade correct one time. If we actually do the math here, let's come to the calculator, 587 times three. So getting it wrong three times, it's 1761. And getting it right one time is 1746. And I'm pretty sure I didn't draw this exact. I drew it a little bit further. Basically what this ratio of three tells you, this three to one ratio is in order to break even every three trades that you get wrong, you need to get one trade right. So the trade only played through once and you're still at break even. So going back to the point of looking at this as a new small business, say you failed on three product launches, you now have one more chance to break even. All right, your first three product launches failed. And then the third one, you're back at break even and you can do it again. All right, but now you take another shot and now instead of failing three times on the next three product launches, you fail twice, you fail twice. Instead of a 25% success rate, you've now bumped up to a 33% success rate, which is what we have right here which would be the equivalent of looking at this example, you're in the green 587 and you only got it right one out of three times. You only have to get it right one out of three times. So if there is anything to be taken away from this video, when you're trading with a smaller account, look for better setups. Use the long position tool, use the short position tool, use them to look for trades with the best risk to reward ratio. This video is brought to you by Moomoo. If you haven't already taken advantage of it, be sure to check out Moomoo using the referral link down below in the description. Get up to 10 free stocks when you sign up using that link down there. If you learned anything or found this video to be helpful, be sure to smash the like button. It really helps to support the channel. If you made this far in the video and you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. And last, but certainly not least, Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.